All right, we're going to look at the service manual using the iPad. In this case, we brought up the 2006 Outlander service manual. There's two volumes, volume one and two. We're going to go to volume two. Volume two, there's several group sections. Today, we're going to look at the service breaks, so we're going to go to group 35. In group 35, there's the ABS and basic. We want to do basic breaks. And we want to look at the chart for troubleshooting. So we're going to look under basic break diagnostics. So we'll go to that group. Here's a symptom chart. Our symptom is the brake pedal travels too far. It's too close to the floor. So it looks like we won't need to go over to group 7. Page 7 of group 35. Here's the symptoms. Brake pedal travels too far. We need to check the clearance between the floorboard and the brake pedal. Uh, step one, is it the brake firm or spongy? Two, brake pad wear. Three, vacuum hoses. Four, master cylinder. Five, possible brake fluid leaks. Six is the issue, which is check the clearance between the brake's push rod and the primary piston. There's a hyperlink to that. We're going to go over to that section shows us the master cylinder and how to remove the master cylinder so that we could check this proper clearance. The next page actually shows the area that we need to do the inspection. We're going to double click. We're going to zoom in on that area. We can even zoom in further yet. Using veneer calipers we're going to check the dimension A which is between the push rod and the master cylinder brake booster. At any point, if there's any other areas that we need to do critical measurements, we can use our search. Bring up a search function. We can type in specifications to a search. Searches service manual brings up the specifications. Uh, same thing, we can flip through those specifications. Other possibilities is you can go to any particular page. So we know we were back at page 4. We'll just type page 4. We'll go back to the, our, our symptom chart. If we went to a particular section and we like looking at the service manual in a two-page layout, we simply just turn it, click on it, say double pages. Now we're back to viewing the service manual in two pages at a time. So we can read both, both pages before moving on. We're going to go back to the beginning of the service manual. We'll just click on here. It takes us back to breaks. It takes us back to the volume 2 we want to go into volume 1 this time and we want to do a index search so we're going to search on the index in particular we're looking at EGR so we're going to click on the EGR system we can look at the EGR system uh, flip to the next page if we need to zoom in same thing we can zoom in on any particular item and get a better view of what pins we should be uh, into at that point. Uh, flip to the pages. We can go back and go back to the beginning to uh, volume one and two. So that's a quick overview on using the service manual on the iPad.